there are certain aspects when you are uh, doing the shade selection, certain aspects are important to be understood. First thing is that the influence of if you are taking the shade with the, some shade guides, there is always an influence of the patient what he is wearing the dress or what color of the dress and the lipstick that patient is wearing. So, it is important that if there are bright colors like yellow and green and things like that, the, color, the, the body of that or the dress of that particular patient needs to be covered with a gray drape and then you should take the shade. Whenever you have an, a problem as far as understanding the intensity that is the chroma is concerned, that is whether it is A1, A2, A3, try to look at a blue uh, picture and you will understand what exactly is the amount of chroma which is there in that particular tooth. If you are having a problem as far as the hue is concerned, whether it is A shade, B shade or C shade, whether there, there is a difference in the darkness and yellowness or something like that and uh, you are not able to understand whether it is yellow or brown, then try to look at a grey surface and your eyes will get neutralized, the rods and cones will get neutralized and you will be able to visualize a perfectly as to whether it is a, a A shade or B shade or C shade. So, these are the two aspects as far as U sensitivity is concerned and you can utilize that for uh, recording the shade of the patient. If there is a confusion in the shade to be uh, selected, then you should always go and look at the canine. The canine in that particular mouth or in the particular mouth always has got a more amount of saturation of chroma. That is, the, val the hue as well as the chroma can be checked as far as the canine is concerned. If the canine is having an A3 chroma or shade, then the central incisor and lateral incisor always comes out to be slightly lesser than that, that is either it is A2 or A1. So, the difference in the U also can be carried out by checking at the canine. So, canine gives you a guideline as to if you are in a, in, in a confusion to assess what type of U is there or what type of chroma is there. That means, whether it is A, B, C or D shade or you have a confusion in A1, A2, A3 and A4. Second thing is when you are trying to uh, visualize a shade, it is very, very important that you remove all the debris, do some polishing and then carry out this procedure. The stains and all that should be removed from the patient's uh, sur tooth surface and then the shade matching should be done.